Hey family, what's good? This is your girl, Leanne the Bronze Goddess, and I'm actually here today to talk to you guys about the YouTube Made Me Buy It tag. In the spirit of it being Black Friday and a lot of you getting out and about and doing your shopping, I thought why not do this video? Perfect time to do it. I'm going to show you guys quite a few things that I have gathered over the past year or so that YouTube made me buy. First things first, uh, I'm going to start off with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. Now before this $18 $18 um, little container here of eyebrow um, products, I was using pretty much a pencil. Uh, I might have been using like a regular old one or two dollar eyebrow pencil <laughs> from the drugstore. Uh, maybe even use a little bit of dark brown eyeshadow to fill in my brows. And I was I wasn't happy with my brow game. My brows were sweating off. I feel like I would sweat them off. One one minute I had eyebrow, and the next minute I didn't. And so I was like, you know, what? I can do something about that. So I got this, and I must say. $18 was steep, but I think it's worth it. I've used it, as you guys can see, I've used the heck out of it. I've had it for quite some time now. I think the product you use it takes so little of this product to do your brow. Alright, so the next thing that YouTube made me buy, and that is this Urban Decay Naked Palette. Uh, I got this palette a while ago. It's got a lot of really beautiful neutrals in it, some golds, a couple of kind of rosy tones. It's got some grays in here and all of that. I've had this palette for quite some time. I do love Urban Decay uh, eyeshadows. This is my, not necessarily high end, but my higher end uh, eyeshadow of choice. I have quite a few Urban Decay palettes. Uh, and this one is my favorite. I do love it. I am a neutral girl through and through when it comes to my eyeshadow. I think you get amazing pigmentation on them. Uh, they're easy to blend and all of that. So. And I've had this palette for a while. I use it all the time and it's, you get so much product in it. I really do love it. The next thing is the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Amreezy palette. I got this one because the hype was crazy. I follow Amreezy on Instagram as well and everybody was talking about it. A beautiful, beautiful palette. My favorite colors in here, if I could use Deep Plum every day, I would. Also Morocco, Caramel, Glisten, Topaz, like I love, love, love this palette. It's a perfect everyday um, eyeshadow palette. So this actually is a lot more affordable affordable than the Urban Decay. I believe this goes for about $29, $27, something like that. And this one went, went for about $47 or $50 if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I, I felt like you didn't necessarily need to spend a lot of money on lipsticks. And I still don't to a certain extent, but some colors, I just feel like MAC does those colors right. And I know there may be certain dupes for certain colors, but for me, there is no dupe that I could find. Uh, that is comparable to my MAC Ruby Woo. It is my favorite lipstick of all time. I am not a red lipstick on special occasion type of girl. I'm a red lipstick because it's Tuesday and I'm fabulous type of girl. So I wear it all the time and it's my favorite, favorite, favorite red. I wear this red all the time. It took everything that I had within me not to wear it today. Like I could wear this thing every day. <laughs> but this is my, you know how people say that certain things are a gateway. This was like a gateway drug for me. I hate to say it because I got the one Ruby Woo and I loved it and the next thing I know my MAC lipstick collection is growing and I didn't think that I would ever be, feel comfortable to spend $15 or $16 per tube of lipstick but clearly I'm, I'm about one lipstick away from that so MAC lipsticks I do love them I know a lot of people are doing the YSL and the other NARS and all of that but to me this is as much as I'm planning on paying for lipstick like it's already a little steep, but I do love it. In fact, I'm actually wearing um, smoked purple on my lips today with a tiny bit of diva in the kind of inner, the center of my lips. But yes. Yeah. <laughs> and anyway, now onto the more affordable things that I have found uh, that YouTube made me buy, and that is Sleek. A lot of the UK beauties here on YouTube, I think, you, I think Sleek Cosmetics is in their drugstore, which is crazy. If Sleek was in my drugstore, I wouldn't even buy all this high end stuff or higher end uh, stuff, at least higher end for me. Somebody talked about that before. I read a comment where somebody was like, I can't stand when people talk about uh, NARS and Urban Decay and MAC and all of that like they're high end. High end, honey, is uh, YSL and Tom Ford and Chanel makeup. Honey, that's high end. Uh, I don't know what your what your wallet looks like, uh, so it depends on what you call high end. High end or low end is all relative. Okay, let's just let's neither here nor there. But anyway, so Sleek Cosmetics, I love their blushes. I have this um, blush trio right here, and I think it's gorgeous. The pigmentation on this is comparable to my higher end Mac. Um, 
uh, blushes. I think that the color is really amazing. I really do love them. They're easy to blend. The pigmentation is ridiculous for the money. And I think they're a great deal, especially when you're getting like three of these for I think maybe $14.99. $14.99 for three blushes. And I think these go for like $20 or $22. Like, girl, mathematically speaking, this is probably one of the best deals that you'll get. So YouTube was right about this as well. And also they were talking about the contour kit. I think it was Beauty by JJ Hoop. I love. I love me a chocolate diva. Mainly because I'm chocolate. If it works for you, it works for me. That's kind of my mindset. So I like this one. She was using this before. This is their face contour kit. I have it in the color dark. I actually really like the highlight as well. I know people always rave about the contour powder. But the highlight is beautiful. And I don't know how much, I don't remember how much this goes for. Maybe $7.99 or something. But this is a really great contour kit. So I love this as well. So, so far YouTube has been right about all of this stuff. So the next thing I want to show you guys is, of course, remember when everybody was going crazy about the Michael Kors watches? So I did get one. I got the gold Michael Kors watch. This is actually a gift from Hubby. I think it was like Valentine's Day or something like that. These go for about $2.50 or something, if I'm not mistaken. This is a very, very pretty watch. I love the fact that it's kind of menswear inspired, which is perfect when you're going for that kind of edgy look. I do like the watch. Is it a must-have? No, not really, but if you want to spoil yourself or treat yourself, then maybe you should pick it up. All right, so the next thing I want to show you guys is probably the most expensive thing in this particular haul, and that is this Canon Rebel T3i. I'm currently recording on it, so I can't show you guys the camera, but as you guys can see, great quality. There's still so much that I have to learn about the camera, but I think it's a great, great, great camera. This goes for about six something, if I'm not mistaken, five or six hundred dollars. Um, you also have to get like the memory card and all the other stuff. I don't even have any special lenses or anything like that I got the basic 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 and it's still about five or six hundred dollars once you you know include this with the price of the memory card that you will need so yeah I do think this is a great camera it was definitely an upgrade before this I was report recording mostly on my phone believe it or not my phone or my camcorder so now that I actually have a professional camera I feel fancy so anyway so yeah I definitely love it all right, so the next thing that I'm going to show you guys are some candles and these two right here YouTube these are cult favorites here on YouTube and that is leaves and mahogany teak wood. Now I got both of these candles without having ever even smelled them. I was just, you know, Bath and Body Works having one of their crazy sales and I was like I need to get some candles. I'm going to try these two because people have raved and raved and raved about them. The hype is right, okay? Leaves smells amazing it definitely smells like you're walking in an apple orchard and you're picking apples looking cute somewhere love 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 this and mahogany teakwood i can't rave about this candle enough i think this candle smells like the store abercrombie and fitch not exactly not exactly but it's very very close if you love the smell of that department store that um, that store you know how good it smells in there it smells like a nice sexy man this smells like that YouTube was right about both of these candles. I think they were great buys. They smell amazing. And they're now like two of my absolute favorites. So YouTube was absolutely right about those. The first one is this. Now, this one here is a cropped one. It says Rich Fashion Advisory Explicit Content. This is a cropped sweatshirt. I love to wear this with like some joggers. I like to wear with my gray and black joggers. my black joggers or some high-waisted black jeans. I like to wear this with high-waisted skirts, a red one, a leopard print one. I mean, the, the possibilities for styling it are endless. I love, love, love this. But anything that had this kind of label on it was really, really popular. Uh, I got this last year and I still love it and I still wear it. I definitely don't regret it at all. I think it's a great purchase and it's really cute. You can style it, you dress it up, dress it down, wear it with a pencil skirt and some heels, wear it with some jeans or wear it with some jaw. This next thing right here is this skirt. Um, I love, love, love this big, flowy, flirty, loud skirt. But as you see, the tag is still on it because I've only, I worn it in an Instagram photo once. But I've never worn it outside of the house because it's a little bit long for me. I hate getting things altered, and um, but I really need to get this size to fit me because I do love it. I think it's beautiful. I love the whole idea of this big poofy feminine skirt with something really kind of edgy. So I would I would wear something like this with a cute graphic tee and a motorcycle jacket and a nice pair of heels to kind of go for that balance of super feminine and flirty and then super edgy to kind of balance things out. But I love, love, love this skirt even though I have not worn it outside of the house. And last but not least, I remember when everybody was going crazy over the Alexander Wang bag. So I didn't get one of those but I did get an inspired bag from Bag Inc. and that is this one. This is the Alexa calfskin studded leather bag 
And as you guys can see, it's very similar to the original. I got mine in this gorgeous kind of camel uh, color. A lot of people were getting the black one. The black one was all the rage. But at the time when I got the bag, the black one was sold out. But I'm not mad about that. This goes with everything. It's the perfect neutral color. I love wearing this bag, especially during the spring and the summer with bright colors like you know neon pink or green or white. This is a really gorgeous bag. I get compliments every time I wear it. The quality is amazing. If you guys want to see my most recent bag ink video, I will be sure to uh, link it below so you guys can check it out. And that is pretty much it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please tell me below in the... As I'm doing this video, I see something else that YouTube made me buy. Hold on. YouTube also made me buy these LA Girl lip paints. I love this color right here. I should have wore this today. This color Koi is gorgeous. And I also have it in Pinup and Hot Mess. So YouTube made me buy these as well. I wish I got more colors. I really like their neutral colors and their pale pinks as well. But I love these colors. These are a really great deal and a really great find. I think you can get them for less than $5. And the pigmentation on them is really crazy on them. They're amazing pigmentation. The only thing that kind of is a hit or miss depending on what your preference is, is they do have kind of a minty smell and a minty kind of feel. So if you're not into that, then you're not going to like them. But that's the only kind of drawback. Um, but I do think that they're gorgeous and um, love them. I think they're perfect for the price. So anyway, that is it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, later divas and dudes. Deuces, honey. It's the truth. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. I mean, I'm telling you. It's amazing. Okay, it is absolutely incredible.